Number 52. Why is the hydronium ion concentration in a solution that is 0.1 molarity in HCl and 0.1 molarity in HCOOH determined by the concentration of HCl? Okie dokie. So, we have two different acids here. We have HCl and we have HCOOH. Now, HCl, HCl, we should know is one of our strong acids. So I'll just say SA. Now remember, strong acids will always dissociate, aka break apart, 100%. So you will not have HCl anymore. You will have its two uh, ions, which is H plus and Cl minus. And since you don't have any of this anymore, and you only have H plus and Cl minus, you can use your molar ratios to determine how much H plus and how much Cl minus you have by looking at your uh, mole ratios in the front. It's a one to one to one, so the numbers should all be the same. If you start off with 0 0.10 molarity for the HCl, and it all dissociates into H plus and Cl minus, if you have one of these, you have the same number, you have one. So this we know is for sure 0 0.10 molarity. And the same thing for this. Now, maybe I'll just box this off because we will be coming back to this in a little bit. Because the question is, why is the hydronium ion concentration only determined by HCl? Keep in mind that hydronium is the H+. Plus hydronium. Okay, so for right now, we know that we have 0.1 molarity of H+. Now let's talk about this other acid. HCOOH is formic acid. Now formic acid, HCOOH, is not a strong acid. So I can't just write that it dissociates 100% into its two ions. This will be at equilibrium with its ions. And the break is right over here. So this would be HCOO minus plus H plus. But the difference is that if we start off with 0 0.10 molarity of the formic acid, I can't look at those ratios and just say that I have 0 0.10 molarity of the H plus because formic acid is a weak acid. It's got a Ka value, and the Ka value for this is probably pretty small, which means that at the end of the day, at equilibrium, you start with 0.1 molarity, and you're probably going to end very close to 0.1 molarity. The amount that disassociates or ionizes is way lower than 100%. Maybe we're talking 5%, maybe we're talking 6 7%, but it's definitely not 100%. So I can't just say, okay, we have 0 0.01 molarity here. This value, this hydronium addition, whatever this is, is going to be so small that basically if we add this hydronium with this hydronium, this doesn't even matter. If you're adding a really, really, really small amount of H plus from the formic acid to the 0.1 molarity of the uh, H plus from the HCl, the answer is going to be 0.1, right? This doesn't even matter. Since it's so small, we don't even care about it. And that's why the hydronium ion concentration is only determined by the concentration of HCl, because... HCl is a strong acid. It dissociates 100%, so we know that number. But for this one, since the dissociation is so small, it doesn't matter. So it's negligible. Negligible. And that's it. So hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out and tell your classmates, tell your friends that this cool YouTube channel exists. Um, we also have physics and math videos at the moment with hopes of adding new subjects for you guys to learn. 
So let's keep learning. Okay, bye-bye.